appreciate it for all my friends, all my teammates, and my family. It was a great fight. The guy is really tough. Make my, my what can I say? He make like he make it worth. So I'm very happy. Thanks for all my teammates, for London Shoot Fighters, and my family, my girlfriend Larissa, my mom, my kids, everybody back in Brazil. Uh, tonight to have a massive party in my area where I grew up. So it's everybody watch our lives. There's like a local TV over there. Good to be I mean the happiest man in the world. Also we open a new long shoot fight at East at East London Canary Wharf. Guys come down and check it out. It's been over a year since you last fought. Um, was that playing on your mind because you haven't fought in such a long time? Did you feel uh, comfortable going three the full three rounds with Brad? Well this is I do it every day at London Shoot Fighter. I know nobody turns harder than me. I have the best teammates, coach ever. We do it every day, man. It doesn't matter how long I stay without fight. Of course, I feel a little bit pressure. So, like, never fought uh, in front of the, this, the, the hugest crown that I ever saw in my life. And the guys booed me a little bit. But as I said before, I'm a British Zillion. That's my home, too. And I'm so happy, man. I, I as I said before, I can. I cannot fight for a little while. Always when I have a camp at long shoot fight, I will be ready for anything. I'm a warrior. You had a bit of a tough second round. It looked like you had you hurt for a little while. Did you feel a sense of urgency going into the third round, but you have to you have to sort of steal steal the match? Well, what I want to do is walk forward. I don't want to like walk back and show any weakness. So that's how I was tired. That's what I want to I want to do. I want to go inside his mind and make him feel like, oh my God, this guy just stepping in. That's what I want to do. I didn't feel tired, so it's the fight, man. That's it, baby. UFC, first debut, first win. Would you say that's one of the, the toughest fights you've ever had in your MMA career? Yes, definitely. Yes. If you fight for three rounds, this is probably a tough fight. The guy, you have, he resp uh, deserves some respect. He went to the finals with the tough Australian. As I said before, he's a tough guy. And all he did is make like my victory looks good. So. Can you just try and sum up your entire experience this week now? Because this is the first time you've been fight you're fighting for the UFC. Uh, you've been through the fight week. You've performed. You've won. Can you somehow just sum up in words what this whole experience has meant to you? Well, man, I was pretty nervous, anxious. I had so many. I never feel so blessed like these days. All the all my um, my teenager friends, the, the guys that I grew up with in Brazil was like sending me messages, kids were sending me messages saying you're our hero, all my family, all like my neighborhood back in Brazil, the name is Barrio Tocantins, Barrio Tocantins, tamo junto para sempre. And man, today like my friends from London, my British students, I never felt so, how can I say, uh, welcome really like wow people really take care of me and also was well, so professional we have a scale I, well, I just over the moment that's all I can say I love to be in UFC I love, I love to be a long shoot fighter fighters also a uh, British Brazilian man <coughs> couldn't make it uh, couldn't do any better than that you mentioned the London shoot fighters but I was training in a place during the week and said you used to be the coach there and you had a did you have a bit of a falling out with a previous gym and now you're with London shoot fighters man all my MMA game all my wrestling, all my MMA, I learned at London Shoot Fighters. That's my home. That's my family in London, UK. I've been teaching the other places before, but just I was a coach. And that's it, nothing else. The best place that I've ever been is London Shoot Fighters. That's the place that I came first. And I thought I was the best in the world because I'm a black belt. I get beaten up so badly. And that's it, I started training there and I learned everything over there. What, what, what's next for you? What, what's going to do next in the division? Well, next for me, guys, is definitely drop to welterweight <laughs> because I'm not in middleweight, definitely. And whatever, whatever UFC tell me, I will do. That's my job. My job is fight, and that's it. Looking You're forward to fight. Uh, what happened in the second round there? It looked like you, you got a groin shot and tried to stop the fight. Well, I guess like a kick in the, the, the groin, so the referee didn't stop the fight. I don't know why. But man, I just move forward, I'm a water. I don't, I cannot feel pain. I refuse to feel pain. And I refuse to walk back and lose. Your right eye looks a little banged up. And in the second round, it looked like they were looking at it. Were you worried that they were gonna stop the fight? 
yes, I'm always worried, I'm always tell I'm gonna fight, don't stop the fight. It's a little bit bad, I know. <laughs> you're, you're in your, um, your early 30s now, right, Ricardo? You're 33, if I'm not mistaken? I'm 31. 31, okay. Yeah, I, look to, I, I look 19, <laughs> and I do the same thing, I was 19 years old. Making your UFC debut at the age of 31, do you still feel as though you, you're gonna have enough time uh, to make a run in the UFC uh, and, and try and go for the title? Yes, definitely. I can do anything. Age is about your mind. If you think you're old, you're going to be old. I know people uh, younger than me, but they look older than me. So if you have a dream, just go there and chase your dream and make it come true. That's what I've been doing. Did you uh, speak to a doctor at all about your eye? Yes, they said I have to just wait a little bit. We put some eyes on and that's it. They checked my eye and everything all right. Just a bed swollen. Can you just talk a little bit about um, the Brazilian culture? I was, we were speaking to Igor, he's very passionate and obviously it's clear to see that you're very emotional and very passionate as well. Uh, can you just talk about um, how that Brazilian culture helps you in the fight game? Well, man, the Brazilian people, they are really brave, they never give up and they are really emotional. So also, uh, that fella, Igor, was coming to me and talk to me all the time and during this week at the hotel and give me like confidence, so we support each other. They always say, let's do it, let's make 2-0, let's score these guys. Like, man, I love Brazil, and that's it. Brazilian always moving forward, we never give up. We're like, we train hard, we fight hard, and we fight hard too. Does it make a, a big difference to you that the O2 Arena was, was pretty much full. We've seen in other UFC fight cards, um, during the prelims, it's, the stadiums and the arenas can be quite empty. Uh, but in the O2 Arena, everybody was sitting there, uh, taking their seats. Does that help you as a fighter, knowing that there's a, a whole crowd there looking at you and watching you? Wow, definitely, man. I used to come here all the time with my girlfriend at O2 Arena to some Brazilian restaurant. And today, I fought at O2 Arena, man. I have no words to describe. So it was a... Uh, Amazing experience. I, I always I would, I would love to fight in front of so many people, in front of that huge crowd, and make like feel what it looks like. But man, I was so amazing. <laughs> feel like a little bit nervous, but bang, I won it. I make it. So love London, love UK. I'm a British Brazilian, and love Brazil. Big kiss, uh, big kiss to London, my teammates my supporters, my students, and now, now I'm going to say in Portuguese. Quero mandar um beijo aí para minha mãe, minha, meus filhos, Larissa, te amo, minha namorada, Bairro Tocantins, tamo junto, Uberlândia no UFC, Bairro Tocantins no UFC, tamo junto. E toda a comunidade brasileira aqui em Londres, tamo junto. E todas as periferias do Brasil, é nóis.